Good morning, New Zealand. It's a bright and sunny day down here in Dunedin. Unfortunately, we're inside, or more fortunately, rather, we're inside to watch game two of the New Zealand under-20 versus under-18 ice hockey tournament. Um, both teams are just uh, undergoing their warm-up. Uh, welcome to all 60 of our viewers who are online. Drop us a uh, comment, tell us what you're liking. Um, Uh, tell, tell us what you like, who your favourite player is, any shout outs you'd like us to do on the commentary and we'll do our best to help with that. My name's Nick Hall and I'm here with Mike Stately and we'll be your commentators for this morning. It's bringing you game two of this series with um, the first game going three to two to the under 20s. It was really a good back and forth game and um, I spoke with the coaches after the game, what they liked, what they didn't like, and uh, uh, Justin Daigle, the under 20s, said that uh, they were a little bit surprised with the speed of the young players of the under 18s, and it took them a little bit of time to adjust to that. Uh, and once they did it increased their energy, they were able to uh, take control of the game. And uh, Coach A.J. Spiller of the under 18s uh, was very impressed with the effort and the skill of his team and how they kept pressing, and um, particularly the, uh, the passing and uh, the work of their defensemen and goaltending. So they were they were uh, quite pleased with the efforts of both teams and I think that bodes well for the future of New Zealand ice hockey. Absolutely. Just over 20 minutes remaining in the warm-up here, so both teams are starting to rev. Looks like it's a bit more intense than it was last night, which is fantastic. Being such a tight game last night, I'm sure it'll make for a good game this morning. So, uh, teams look well rested and ready to play, so I, th I think we're going to see a good one. Um, I would expect that the under-20s may, may um, have adjusted more to that speed and uh, might be able to, to use their size and uh, physicality more against, uh, against the under 18s and, and take control of this game early. Um, like I mentioned on the broadcast yesterday, it's really hard to keep uh, Noah Gregory, Jack Roby, and uh, Jackson Flight under wraps for three periods. And, and those were the goal scorers yesterday. And uh, I expect uh, you know, big players play big and big games. And, and those guys are, are, are the big guns of the under 20s. Absolutely. Uh, so for starting lineups tonight, um, for the uh, under 20s, we've got uh, Timothy Carey as the goaltender in the in net, and then for the forwards, we've got number six Noah Gregory, uh, number 19 Jack Robbie, number 23 Max Vesper. All three put on a fantastic show last night, showing their skill. In defence, we've got number two Isaac Reed and number five Max Hurring. For the under 18 lineup. Uh, the goaltender for this morning is Alex Powell, number 20. Um, and in the forwards, we've got number 14, Flynn Linton, number 16, Connor Rolfe, number 22, Luke Tappen. And in defence, we've got number 8, Kemp, and number 18, Stately. We have a three man crew for officiating. Linesman are uh, Tom Becker and Barrett Wilson, and the referee will be Kyle Matthews. So, top notch. Uh, High level officiating crew. Carl Matthews is uh, highly involved with official and referee development and training across the NZIHF. He does a fine job. Uh, the quality of officiating is, is generally pretty good across the country. So um, we have three good ones out here this morning. And puck drop, the 20s. Take the puck deep into the under-18 zone. Vespa behind the back of the net. Vespa passes to Gregory. Gregory back to Vespa. Vespa blocked by the 18s. Carried out by Lewis into the neutral zone. Robbie through the neutral zone. Intercepted by Tappen. Tappen lays it off to Kemp. Up the boards from Kemp. 18s looking to change early on. Hurring now behind the net. Dodges a check from uh, the 18s. Fighting for the puck. Picked up by Gregory. Gregory clears it out of the zone. Ordis in pursuit with Vespa behind. And that will be cool for two many men on the ice by the looks of it. No, icing. No, icing. They were calling the... Uh 
the twenties had changed. Ah, after sorry, the I missed arm that. went up for icing, so uh, referee was just bringing the tired players back onto the ice. Should have had my morning coffee, Mike. Puck wheeled round to Vespa. <coughs> Vespa chips it off the board. Vespa picks up the puck. He's by himself. The twenties change. Reed keeps it in. Up to Gregory. Gregory looking for an option. Shot blocked. Another shot goes wide. Picked up by the 18s now with some pace. It's Chamberlain skating in. Good pressure from the 20s here. Now carrying through the neutral zone. Vespa back at it again. Vespa looking for an option. Nice poke check there. Puck gets cleared. 20s looking to regroup. Cross ice pass picked up by Weekly. Weekly looking for an option. Flight putting a bit of pressure on. Hayward Jones. Shot blocked. Picked up by Chamberlain. Fontaine tries to get it out. Prinslow, back to Prinslow, puck loose in front of the net, picked up for the 18s, Fontaine carrying it in, good good hustle from Fontaine's there, That's managing good. to clear it as a penalty coming there. I don't know if we're holding, that might have been a penalty for a high tackle in rugby. <laughs> First under 18's power play, Nick. Uh, they, they did not have the opportunity to go in the man advantage at all in yesterday's game. There, were, uh, there was only one power play for the entire game and it went to the under 20s to get a chance to see what the under 18's power play can, can do here with this two minute advantage. Absolutely, exciting chance for them. And it's flight sitting for, for two minutes. So 18's win the puck drop. Stightley calling for it, but Kemp takes a shot, goes wide. Stightley fighting to keep the puck in the zone. Looking for an option, he's got Kemp. Kemp, back. Back to Kemp. It's good puck control and movement here by the 18s. Absolutely, great passing. Shot oh. blocked, oh! That's, a, that's about the big time shot and a big time save. Absolutely, that was a great play there by the 18s. They definitely took advantage of that power play. That was good puck movement, and they got a high-quality scoring shot, uh, scoring chance there, and it's good work. Good pressure. I have to wonder who uh, under-18 team manager Neil Carey, which team he's actually rooting for, because uh, his son Tim Carey is the goaltender for the under-20s, and he's the manager of the under-18, so he's got some uh, divided loyalties there, does Neil? He's just double-dipping. Well, he wins no matter what. <laughs> Vespa fighting hard there. Picked up by the 18s. And a notable absence from the under-18 squad is uh, Neil's other son, Jacob Carey, who hopefully is tuning in from Canada. And he's uh, playing his hockey in, in Canada for the season. But a real good, promising young player, Jacob Carey, out of Canterbury. Pass. Puck into the neutral zone. Chamberlain chases. Pressure from hiring. Puck comes back, picked up by Lewis in the 18s. Big up ice pass. Shot. Comes off the shoulder. Ordis. 30 seconds pass remaining. On, 30 seconds remaining on the penalty. Puck loose at the feet, up the boards. 18s managed to hold on to it. Comes out of the zone. <coughs> Goaltender clears the puck up ice. Needs to be careful with that clearance. He banked that off the glass, but it was the shot goes high in air and that's a delay game penalty. Ong flicks it back, but no one's there to collect. Taylor fighting for it up against the boards. Hayward Jones. Hayward Jones gets the puck. Hayward Jones clears. That's going to be icing, was there even strength? Oh, 
Under 20 is a little bit out of sync here. The early penalty, several icing calls. <coughs> I think that might have been a player who was unaware that the penalty had expired and they went to clear the puck and that makes it icing when you're even strength. Yeah, I think you might be right, Mike. Face off, one by the 20s. Hayward Jones wheels it around. Good pressure there from uh, Chamberlain. That's another icing. Under 20 is desperate to, to get a change in there, but unfortunately due to the icing, they'll be unable to get off. This line was out for a while, killing that penalty. Yeah. Now they remain on the ice. Face off one by the 18s, but offside as the puck just comes out of the zone. Kemp up against the boards, dumps the puck in, chases after his own play. Tapping now. Looking for an option, passes back to Kemp. Kemp keeps it in. Shot blocked by Prinsloo. Picked up by Stately. Puck goes deep into the 20 zone, picked up by Howard Jones. Hayward Jones carrying now, shot blocked, stately clears, loose puck, comes off the pads of the goaltender. 20s with possession of the puck, looking for options, sources it down, puck missed, giving the opportunity for the 18s to change. <coughs> Long off ice pass there. Ordis picks up the puck against the boards. Tries to flick it up ice. Twenties beaten to the puck. Robbie flicks it up. Pucked up deep in, deep in by the 18s. That the 20s are trying to exert their will by force here. They're uh, starting to, l to lay some hits. And the bigger, stronger side, uh, the physical play will come out to your advantage. That'll be uh... That's an offside call there. Both sides take the opportunity to get fresh troops on the ice. Face off in the neutral zone. One by the 18s. Puck flicked in. Lewis chases. Lewis picks up the puck against the boards. Check there from Haring. Gregory now skating through the neutral zone. Skates past one player. Looking for an option in front of the net. Shot goes wide. Robbie collects the puck. Robbie wheels back to Gregory. Good control of the puck up against the balls there by Gregory. Gregory passes back to the D. Reed to Gregory. Gregory looking for options. Blocked by the skate of the A-teams. Good defensive play there by Max Herring to break up that odd man rush. Doherty collides with Gregory. Gregory picks up the puck, passes back to Ball. Shot blocked. Back behind the net. You see how patient a player Gregory is. Um, always looking for the open option, and he's, he's willing to hold the puck until that opportunity arises. Absolutely. He's cool, calm, and collected. Check up against the boards. Puck picked up by the 18s. Carried out of the zone by Fontaine. 20s pick up the puck in the neutral zone. And it's gloved by Alex Power, the 18s goaltender. Jackson Fontaine was a one-man wrecking crew at the end of that shift there. There were bodies on the ice yeah. and they had all come into contact with him. Definitely making sure the 20s know that. Just because they're bigger, they might not be as physical. It's not always the size of the dog in the fight. Gloved again by the 18s. 20s are getting some really good scoring opportunities down here in uh, 
uh, 18s are going to have to clean this up on the defensive side or that red light's going to come on. <clears throat> Face off in the 18 zones. Won by the 18s. Puck blocked by the skate of the referee there as Kemp tries to clear. Kemp carrying it out deep into the 20 zone. He's got numbers with him. 20s now on the counter attack. Flight. Flight versus Stately in the corner. Flight picks up the puck. Looking for an option. So nice defensive play there by Taylor. <clears throat> Intercept that pass. Puck comes down to the neutral zone. Picked up by Simon. Simon, cross ice pass to Ordis. Ordis up to the forwards. What a play. Chamberlain shot, blocked. Great play there from the under 18s. 18s working hard to keep the puck in the zone. Chamberlain uses the boards to pass around. Puck carried through the neutral zone by Thomas. Strong back check from the under 18s. You see the speed uh, here at the under 18s. It's winning those battles to the loose pucks. Absolutely. To Ordis. Ordis shot. Blocked by the goaltender. Ordis picks up the puck. Fumbles. Comes out into the neutral zone but picks it back up again. And that'll be offside. Boy, Ordis had a, a really nice uh, pass up ice to Chamberlain there to get the... Uh, the offense rolling. It was just a, a real good play to, to see that open ice and sneak that pass up through there. The D's really do quarterback your offense. Absolutely. I mean, you could see the 20s get caught off guard during a change there earlier on. Fords were coming around, circling for an option, and there wasn't anyone there to pass back to. Reed flicks it around to Gregory. Gregory picks up the puck against the boards. Back to Reed. Reed shot. Blocked. 18s. Ong gloves it down. Oh, Fontaine rather. Carried out of the zone by Robbie. Robbie tries to backhand pass, but Weekly's all over him. Weekly wheels it round. Pressure from Hurring. Keeps it in the zone to Gregory. Gregory evades up against the boards. Gregory in front of the net. Shot. Oh, oh. oh snuck through. For a moment there, it looked like Alex Power had that between his legs, but it just popped through on the other side. And you can see that play is Noah, Noah Gregory's patience behind the net. Just holding the puck, holding the puck, and then uh, something opens up and the pass is on the stick and in the net. Yeah, Power initially had to save there, but couldn't control it. Just rolled underneath him. I'm not sure if someone tapped that in. Not sure who's getting credit with that goal. Check, I'll check the score sheet here. I think it was uh, Roby. But... Face off one by the 18. Stately to Kemp. Kemp tries to get it out. Kemp picks up the puck again. He's got time, passes to Stately. Stately into the neutral zone, but 20's intercept, carrying in on a counter attack. Flight, struggling to make that play work. Lewis carries it in for the 18s. Maintains position of the puck, goes behind the net. Ooh. Rolf just missed a good scoring chance there. Just couldn't quite get the stick on it. Puck deep in the corner. Lewis wheels it round, but 20s are there to collect instead. Ball. Oh, puck comes out in front of the net. Picked up by the 18s. They've got numbers. 20s collide with each other. Bit of a three-man pile-up over there.
Picked up by Ordis. Circles behind the net. Passes up ice to Ong. Ong chases. Ong. Ordis comes in, collects, cross. 18 is doing well to keep hold of the puck. Ordis has such great vision. He saw the play on the backside there and uh, just the, the 20s defenseman was able to get the stick up and intercept that pass, but it was a real good thought. Fantastic foresight. Great young player. You see some of those players just uh, can, can see events bef happening before they occur. And uh, Noah Gregory is one of those players, and uh, Ian Otis is one of them as well. Absolutely. Just real smart hockey players. Now, I thought he tipped that puck at the red line. He's coming back for icing. Pretty good pace here back and forth. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Great pace from both teams. Face off one by the 18. Shot. Oh! oh! What a shot. That's Chapman. Yeah. Caleb Chapman. This game Fantas is even. Fantastic play for Right Chapman. off the draw. Yeah. The 18s seem to be winning a lot of these face offs. They seem to be pretty good off the draw. Maybe being that bit younger, they uh, tend to listen to their coaching staff a little bit more. <coughs> I'm not so sure of that, but <laughs> I, one thing I'll, I'll comment about the coaching of both of these squads, and, and this is a credit to their club coaches because that's who, who has the most contact with them, is that uh, you know, the, the skill development and the hockey smarts and the structure of the play uh, has been excellent. And that's just a credit to all of the volunteer coaches around um, around the country who are working with these players in the clubs. They spent a lot of time at the rink, uh, volunteering their time for the love of the game, and uh, the quality of that coaching is on, on display here this morning. Absolutely. It's fantastic to see so many people out there passionate about hockey. Gregory, shot, goes wide. Chapman wheels the puck ground, but it's picked up by Gregory, who's behind the net. Puck comes out front. Picked up by Haring. Shot by Haring. I think they're going to need to make an adjustment and not allow Gregory to set up behind the net and give him all that time. Absolutely. He's done that a few times now. I think they're going to need to force him out of there. Puck carried out by Stitely into the 20s zone. Bit of pressure from the 20s. Stitely loses his footing. Robbie. 18's managed to keep the puck in the zone temporarily. Comes out, Vesper. Had to wait on uh, Gregory to get back on side. Nice play there from Gregory to keep it in the neutral zone. Vesper carries it in now. Shot blocked off the pad. Oliver Linton. Oh, it's a nice breakout pass there. Up to Tappen. Tappen carries in. Two on four. Source across the ice, picked up by Prinslow. Oh, nice defense by Weekly. That was a great up ice pass. But, uh, Weekly stole their hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh. oh. Through the five hole, Flint Hayward Jones. 2 1 20s. <coughs> it's one, you know, one thing that, that uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of looking up ice to create the offense and passing it rather than. Skating the puck into traffic. Um, all these players are looking up ice to make the pass. The, the puck travels faster than the player. Um, and in doing that, you're opening up the offensive chances. And both teams are doing a real nice job of that. But you put the puck on the stick of a player like uh, Flynn Haver Jones in front of the net like that, and more often than not, it's going to go in the net and the red light comes on. Yeah. when he's fighting to keep the puck in the zone. And it's gloved by Timothy Carey.
good pressure from the 20s there at the face off. 18s managed to keep it in the zone. Lewis handling the puck. Snood. Flicks the puck up ice. Thomas chases, evades weakly, shot. But it's blocked. Puck comes out into the neutral zone. Picked up by Lewis. Lewis circles round looking for an option. Pass to Simon. Intercepted by the 20s. Simon checks to Helen. That's a good clean open ice hit there. Rolf robs Kennedy of the puck there. Rolf goes into the boards. Kennedy didn't like it. No, he didn't. <laughs> Using Took that size. Made him pay for it. Orlis with oh, a shot. That was close. Deflection there by Rolf. Chamberlain flicks the puck round, but it's cleared. Russell is waved off. 20s take the opportunity to change. 18s regroup. Fontaine comes onto the ice. Pass up ice from Aldous to Fontaine. Fontaine passes back. Simon. Puck goes wide. Pressure from Reed and Robbie. Hurrying, clears. Vesper picks it up. Poke check from Aldous. Ong and Robbie collide. Vesper carries through the neutral zone. He got through one, he even got through two, but he didn't get through three. Reed and Fontaine up against the boards. Aldous fighting with Gregory. Vespa, puck goes across in front of the net. Picked up by Gregory again. Gregory, backhand pass to Robbie. Ordis flicks the puck up and out of the zone. It's picked up by Reed. 18's change. Reed passes to Hurring. Hurring back to Reed. Up ice now. Vespa. Oh, bad turnover there. Nice turnover, yeah. They're lucky that one didn't end up in their net. No. Shot and gloved uh, by Alex Power. Nice shot there by Tyler Challoner. I think he had a little bit more time than he thought. He certainly had some net to shoot at. Great play there from both teams, though. Good intensity. Isaac Reed is uh, showing some aggression out there, laying some hits, and he's doing it all within the boundaries of the rules. So That's what we like to see. He's a big physical defenseman, and uh, that's exactly how you want a player like that to play. Absolutely. Puck picked up by Kemp. Pressure from Prinsloo. Chapman up to Tappen. <coughs> up ice to Stately, who carries it in. Stately, stick handling. Trying to work it round. Tappen. Tappen the time here. Back to Kemp. Kemp fumbles back to Tappen. Kemp shot, blocked. Carried out by the 20s. Ball to flight. Oh, blocked by the skate of the 20s. Puck comes wide. We're inside one minute in this first period. Flight round to Prinsloo. Intercepted by Stightley. Stightley tries to carry out of the zone. That was going to be a penalty on flight for a late hit. Blocked. Oh, oh there's a goal on the oh. delayed penalty. <coughs> With just 40 seconds remaining here in the first period. I think it's Oliver Linton. Great work from the 18s there. Oliver Linton with the big goal to even this game just prior to intermission. It was going to be a late hit call against uh, Jackson Flight. That goal will erase the penalty. I feel that's uh, punishment enough. Absolutely. 
face off one by the twenties. Those are, are really disciplined penalties. Those are unnecessary. They don't help you win the game. And uh, they, they have the adverse effect on your team. When you're sitting in the box, you, you can't score goals when you're sitting in the penalty box. Doherty working nicely up against the boards there, fighting off two of the 20s players. Swift now pressed up against the boards. 18s clear the zone. Seven seconds two on remaining. 2-on-1 on here. Shot blocked by Alex. Oh, Timothy, rather. Had a two-on-one there. He chose to, to shoot instead of making the pass. Looked like the pass was there on the back door, but uh, either of those are good plays because if you do get the rebound, uh, you're better off to shoot that puck low uh, into the pass to try and get the rebound for your other forward. But uh, good play, good pressure up ice. Absolutely. We have an even hockey game after one period. Yeah. Big goal by Oliver Linton there at the end of the period to uh, send them all to the dressing rooms uh, even up. They played 20 minutes of hockey and they've accomplished nothing. It's the same score, it's even. After just the first period this morning, we've got the same score that we had at the end of the second period yesterday. Both teams certainly have uh, turned it up a notch. There's some uh, it's a good uh, back and forth action with uh, the long breakout passes and the players are looking up to um, make plays up ice and use that open ice. So uh, good flow to the game and I think both teams are playing very well. Absolutely. So we've got a 20 minute intermission now. Um, so get that morning coffee if like me you didn't manage to get enough caffeine in uh, before you started commentating this morning. And uh, we'll be back with you shortly.
Welcome back for the second period of the under 18, under 20s game two tournament down here in Dunedin. We've just got 13 seconds remaining. The referees are now coming out to skate round the ice and set up for the second period. We just want to acknowledge some of the goals that happened in the first period earlier. For those of you who are just tuning in now, we have a 2-2 game with the under 20s uh, scorers being uh, Noah Gregory and um, Flynn Howard Jones. Flynn Howard Jones. And for the under 18s, the goals were scored by Oliver Linton and Caleb Chapman. Caleb Chapman. <coughs> Fantastic work from uh, both teams there. Um, managing to, 18s managing to just uh, close down the lead at the end of that last period in the remaining 30 seconds or so. And yeah, scored that goal on a delayed penalty. Uh, they didn't manage to get the goalie off. It didn't take that much time. And uh, Oliver Linton up ice with the puck and buried it. It's a big goal. Um, changes the complexion of that game. And I do think that um, <clears throat> you know, what, you, what you expect, the uh, stronger players for the under-20s, Make, make a big difference out there, but uh, they do need to put more of them on the board, and that's uh, Noah Gregory and Jack Roby. They're playing very well. Um, and those are the difference makers, and uh, if they're going to win the game, they need to let up the scoreboard. Much more physical game this morning um, compared to last night. A lot more uh, checking going on. Um, makes it a much more exciting game for us up here. Isn't that right, Mike? Yeah, and, um, and the way they're doing the hitting, they're, they're coached well to do it. They're, they're making... Uh, the hit to gain possession of the puck. They're not trying to blow anybody up or, or hurt them. Uh, they're good, solid, clean hits, and, and they're doing it within the rules. Um, and it's encouraging to see uh, that level of coaching and play for the, the checking hockey. A lot of these players haven't gotten to play a whole lot of checking hockey this year because of the COVID situation and the disruption to the leagues. Um, so it's good, it's good to see that uh, you know, players are playing clean and uh, doing it the, the way it's intended. Absolutely, and at the end of the day, they're all playing on the same side, all representing New Zealand, um, and most of them will probably know each other, having gone through various leagues and trainings together as they grow up. They've hit each other at various age grades. I'd like to make a mention of the coaching staffs, uh, AJ Spiller and uh, Paris Hyde for the under-18s with team manager Neil Carey and Justin Daigle on the bench. Um, managed by Nick Flight for the under 20s. Puck drop. 20s win the face off at center ice. Vespa carries it in. Vespa chases his own play. Check from Stightly. Stightly tries to gain possession of the puck but isn't quite able to make it connect. Robbie drops his stick. Fontaine behind the net to Chapman. Chapman back to Stately. Stately takes a shot. Looks like it comes off the chin of Vesper. Yeah, Vesper doesn't seem happy about that. Not at all. It's unfortunate. <clears throat> Stately picks up the puck in his zone. Evades Prinsloo. Fades him twice. Still looking for an option. Uses the boards. Almost takes out Kyle, our referee. Stately almost doing a, a solo man effort here. Hurry. took out Barrett Wilson on that <laughs> on that uh, dump in too. Stately back at it. Working hard up to Rolf. Rolf has Chamberlain with him. Rolf dumps in. Comes around, Lewis pressuring. Oh, Kept funny in by bounce Simon. There. Shot from Simon, blocked. <coughs> Chamberlain up against the boards. Tries to get it. Prinsloo back behind the net. Picked up by Simon who keeps it in. Another shot from Simon, blocked. 
It's a funny spot on the boards there. They uh, are bouncing it off, and it's just shooting back to the center of the ice there to Luke Simon. The 20s need to get a little spray paint, put a mark on that spot. <laughs> The groomer door is a funny spot. Uh, if if the door's not latched down, and the Thunder knows that, if you shoot the puck in there, sometimes it'll hit the junction of the door and shoot right in front of the goalie. So the opposing teams usually check to make sure that the door is uh, jibbed properly. Advantages of playing on your own ice. Good back check there from the 18s. Game position of the puck. Taylor up to Ong. Taylor misplaces the puck. Gets it back. Goaltender fires the puck at one of the linesmen. Weekly beats the 20s to the puck. 18s managed to get it out of the zone. 20s coming through the neutral zone. Talon chases Weekly back up against the boards, fending off Talon. Puck gets wheeled round. 18's chase. Bit of pressure from the 20's. Puck comes out of the zones. 18's go to change. So the 20's. They better hustle. Gregory carries it in by himself. Robbie back to Gregory. Swift keeps it in. Shot. Blocked. Robbie. Oh. Oh, Kemp kicked that back at his own goalie. Uh-oh. Goal. Power was able to slide back in front of Gregory there. Great work from the goaltender. <coughs> 18's managed to finally get out the zone. Gregory checks. Hayward Jones flicks it up. Ice, Gregory chases. Hayward Kemp. Jones is so quick and fluid. Kemp now back, shot, gloved by the 20s goaltender, Timothy Carrot. So we have the long change this period, so uh, you get caught in a poorly timed change. Ends up with an odd man rush, and uh, we almost had one there where uh, Jack Roby was behind the defense of the under 18s, and uh, they were able to break up the pass. He was screaming for that puck as well. 18s were lucky there. Simon rustling with Prince Lou. Chamberlain loses footing. Puck behind him up against the boards. Gets back, wheels it round. 18s have time here. Up ice pass, picked up by the 20s. Hurring sends it back down towards Flight, who gloves it. Plays it. Picked up by Ball. Good play by Luke Simon to block that shot. Flick the puck up in the air. Down to the offensive zone. Haring dances up against the boards. Simon keeps the puck in. Chaloner. Twenties now on the counter attack. Lewis back checking hard after a change. Puck goes wide of net. <coughs> Isaac Reed managed just to skate through everybody and had the puck still on his stick and got a good scoring opportunity there. He paid for it at the end. Weekly set him on his wallet, but uh, it was a good play by uh, by Reed. Shot by Rolf goes wide. Rolf picks up the puck, pass from Lewis. Evades. Oh, dipsy doodle. Yeah. Still hiding far hard with his fresh legs. Back to Doherty. Doherty back to Weekly. Shot. Narrowly misses the net. Picked up by Prince Lou. Oh, we got numbers here. Bull carries it in. Wolf got back on defense and covered. And Power takes the wicket. For those of you with sharp eyes, you'll see big dog Sam Ordis behind the glass there in the uh, judging box. 
Watching Keane, eager to play, wishing he was slightly younger. Fontaine loses his footing. Back to Sightly. Sightly uses the boards to wheel the puck ground. Flynn Jones to Thomas. Kim tries to check Thomas, but... Eighteens are starting to throw their bodies around. Talon skates the puck in. Twenties change. Vespa comes onto the ice. Hayward Jones. It's a good play there by Kemp. Kennedy, Hayward Jones. Real solid defenseman for the Eighteens. Up ice pass. Missed by Snowd. Icing. I like the aggressiveness on those long pass, long stretch passes. The players are there, he just couldn't collect the pass. Um, we are seeing some, some icings from the under 20s who are trying to make those passes. But they're trying to stretch the ice and um, get odd man breaks and just unable to connect on that one. Both teams really making the puck work here instead of tiring themselves out. It's great to see some smart plays. Both teams are exiting the zone by passing is exactly what you want to do for the young players out there who might be watching. The puck travels faster than the player. Ordis. Ordis, oh, almost goes into the boards. Fighting, still fighting for it. Passes in front of the net, but no one there to collect. 20s come out. Challoner has a bit of a slide. Vespa gets past. Cheeky dangle. Pass one, but he didn't get past them all because the other players were skating back as well. Sometimes you're better off to sneak the wrist shot in there. Use that D as a screen. Sometimes the simple play is the better play. Chapman picks up the puck. Pressure from Gregory, though. Ordis manages to clear the puck from their zone, but it comes straight back in. Simon collects, wheels it round. Hayward Jones, shot wide of the net. Gregory chases after the puck. 18s are having some difficulty clearing the zone here, and they've had a few opportunities to do it, uh, and just not been able. You do not want to be playing with the puck there. It's a dangerous spot. And again, they just lose possession, and, and back it comes. These end up in your net. Gregory to Robbery. Back to Gregory. Back to Robbie, who wasn't expecting it. Bull takes a shot, blocked by the skate of Chapman. Chapman. He's been in pursuit. He's been out there a long time. Again, unable to clear the zone. They've, they've got to get it to the red line, get the puck deep, and get their change. And again, they're not able to change. They weren't able to get the puck deep. Get the red line, dump it. Chapman Chapman's fighting been hard. Out a long time. He's Shot. Got get, there you go. Now Blocked get off. by the goaltender. Good play. Great play. Manages to finally get off for a break. Sometimes when you get tired, you're just inclined to throw the puck to nowhere, and nowhere usually ends up being the other team. Gregory picks up the puck against the boards. Back to Hayward Jones. Jones back to Gregory. Vespa's calling for it up front. Gregory checked by Tom Becker, the linesman. <laughs> <laughs> so we figured out the one way to slow down Noah Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Hiring deep in his own zone. Haring flicks the puck round. Back to Haring. Haring skates it up. Big cross ice pass to Prinsloo. Good pressure from Weekly there. 18's game position of the puck. Bit of a fumble near the net. 
Shot. Oh, loved by <coughs> the 18s. Very fortunate there. Again, inability to clear the zone, and that puck ends up right back at your goaltender. 18s definitely uh, feeling the pressure a little bit there. It's really tiring as a goaltender to be on that high alert level when the puck is in your zone and you're constantly in your ready stance. It takes a lot of energy out of your goalie. Uh, they do need a break. They need you to get the puck out of the zone so they can stand up. And, and Alex Bauer is doing a lot of work here this period. Puck loose in front of the net. Oh, Chamberlain. It's a good play to get that out of, da out of danger. Chamberlain with the puck up against the boards. Picked off by the Twenties. Kemp. Well, that's a smart play to skate it. Skate it out to uh, some free ice where you can collect your thoughts. Absolutely. Gave Stately plenty of time there to work out what he was going to do. Now we're on the offense. Oh, what a, what a scoring chance there. Taylor. Flight carries it through the neutral zone. Hard back check from Chamberlain. Shot wider than net. Chamberlain picks it up. That's Stiley. the same shot Flight scored on last night. Stiley checked hard against the boards by Flight. Shot by Taylor. Blocked. Puck in the air. Picked up by Kennedy. Kennedy up ice to Stiley. Stiley has pressure from Swift. Kennedy. Dumps it back in. Eight, 20 is a court. Got a bit of change. Go. Stately carries it in. Tries to get past two players. Nice pass. Shot goes wide. It's a good offensive pressure here from this line from the 18s. Good pressure. Swift picks up the puck. Pass it to center ice. Picked up by Robbie, who skates hard. Good good pressure from Ordis. Ordis trying to clear without a stick. Oh. Robbie, oh! Tense play there as Robbie has an opportunity, but is stopped by Alex Power. I don't know about you, Mike, but whew, my heart's going up here. <coughs> that was quite a stretch of play without any stoppages. And it's still two to two. It's good hockey. It's great hockey. Bench gonna get a delay of game warning here. Ordis chases Gregory in pursuit. Vista. Tapping, oh, tapping past Vespa. Robbie picks up the puck, goes behind his own net, passes. Hayward Jones picked up by Tappen. 18's unable to make their passing connect. 20's. It's to be icing. That's one thing we see both teams. Do not forget about their defensemen uh, on the offensive part of the zone, and when they're under pressure, they're willing to, to pass it back to their D. The D can see the whole ice, um, and it gives them a little bit of time and space to uh, collect their thoughts. So uh, for young players, you, you know, if you're the forward, you don't have to skate into the teeth of, of three opposing players and lose the puck. You can pass it back to your defender. Some of those uh, B League players in the local Do League down here could take note of that, I think, slightly. I think you're one of them. <laughs> Good pressure there from the 18s. Fontaine, Rusty Jones fighting hard to regain possession of the puck. Good play by Flynn Jones to not go all sides. As soon as I compliment him, he turns it over. <laughs> Sorry, Flynn.
Doherty intercepts the pass. Giving the oh, look at this. We got a Rolf up here all alone. Oh, oh. If Tim Carey says no. Not, to, not this morning, Connor. Well, that was a golden opportunity for the 18s. Absolutely. You just see that one developing in slow motion from yeah. up here. Good pass to get to get it up the ice to him. And but Tim, Tim Carey takes a good shot to beat him. And some luck. Hurrying to ball. Prinslow up high, screaming for the puck. Prinslow checks weakly. Reed back to hiring. <coughs> Pressure from Chamberlain. So Weekly and Prince are having a little bit of words. So they might have been exchanging addresses for Christmas cards. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes Floyd on a breakaway. He didn't get the shot. Good recovery by Weekly. <coughs> I think Flight uh, thought he had more time than he did. Ball in front of the net blocked for the 18's goaltender. Carried out by Taylor. Taylor tries to get past Herring. Herring back to Flight. Flight chips it. Getting, getting past Herring is not an easy task. Not at all. Stightly behind his net. Up the board, Stightly picks up the puck, carries it in. Oh, nice play by Isaac Reed. Stightly was looking for the pass. He had Challoner on the right wing and picked off by Reed. Three players missing the puck up against the boards there. Kemp, Stightly. It's good action. Stightly. 18's are really getting the offensive pressure here. Three on two here. Tap and takes oh, the shot. But it's rebound the challenger, only with the shot. Whoa. Keep playing like this, it's going to go in. It's like sticking puck there between the winger and the D. Kim dangles. <coughs> Van Sluten says, take that. Oh, fumble of the puck there. Pressure from the 18s. 20s managed to recover. Snood. Puck comes out deep into the 20s zone. Van Sluten collects. Regrouping. Wholesale changes for both teams. Talon. Orders to Fontaine. That's a play there. I think he needs to shoot the puck. He's got two defenders. He can use them as a screen. He skates through one. The second one just cleans the, the puck off of him. I think he, he needs to shoot that puck a little earlier there. Oliver Linton. Kept in by Ordis. Shot comes off the pads. Simon passes back to Ordis. Nice awareness of where his teammate was. Big shot from Ordis. Picked up by Van Sluden, who wheels it round to Kennedy and Gregory. Ordis takes a big check there. Robbie picks up the puck. Vesper back to oh, nice. Gregory. Nice drop pass shot. Nice drop oh. pass. Boy, what a quick wrister from Gregory. Absolutely. And that's a great save by Power. That was a great play from the 20s. <coughs> it's beautiful hockey to watch. Makes you glad you got up early on a Sunday morning. Oh, yeah. Two minutes remaining in the second period here. Score 2-2. Two, two. Hayward Jones unable to keep it in. 18s clear the zone. Lewis chases.
cross ice pass. Ah, cross ice pass to Weekly. Weekly had to make a tricky little play to keep that on his stick, and he wasn't able to get the quick shot off. Yeah. 18's change. Gregory in the neutral zone. Vespa intercepts. Back to Gregory. Puck goes behind the net, picked up by the 20s. Roby's in a dangerous spot there for scoring. Big Shot. screens there. <clears throat> Taylor carries it in. Eighteens managed to keep the puck in the zone. Pressure from the 20s though. Loose puck picked up by the 20s. Up ice pass to Gregory. Gregory's got speed. Shot. Oh, big save by Power. Great. <coughs> Only got about 25 seconds left in the period. Here comes Tappen. Good work by Carey there. A little bit of tachycardia going on at this end-to-end -end action. Tell me about it. Now I'm wishing I didn't have my morning coffee. 17 seconds left in the second period. No goals yet. Quick period too, very few stoppages. That'll do it. Woo! Fast end-to-end -end action. Very, very fast pace he compared. But nothing to show for it on the board. I know. The goalies both played really well. Lon's been laying some hard hits. <laughs> the physicality of the game has, has uh, stepped up a notch. Pretty clean hockey, good end-to-end -end action. Some scoring chances and uh, outstanding play by the goaltenders. So uh, what do you think we're going to see in period three, Nick? Well, if it's anything like that period, I'm sure we're in for an absolute show. Both teams playing absolutely incredibly. Not too sure who might take it out, though. Uh, seems to be pretty close. We have to see what the uh, the shots on net are like after that second period. I do think that uh, you know, if no Gregory gets that puck on a stick on a breakaway, like he had in that last period, uh, he doesn't miss those very often. So if that happens again, I, I think that one will go on the board. Absolutely. So we'll be back after this 12-minute uh, intermission break. The uh, ice is going to get a groom. You can get yourself an, uh, an omelet, a piece of toast, another cup of coffee, and uh, we'll join you back here for the third period.
Welcome back to Dunedin Ice Stadium in South Island of New Zealand. <coughs> Clock uh, is getting set here to begin the third period of this uh, match between the New Zealand national teams under 20s, New Zealand national team under 18s. Uh, and this is game two of a game of a two game series where the under 20s won three to two uh, last night in a, a thrilling match. And here we are knotted up at two at the end of two periods. So uh, getting some hand signals from the referee here. Is that an illegal fishing uh, <laughs> notifi notification to get two minutes in the box? Uh, I think uh, uh, Barrett Wilson is suggesting we go fishing uh, after the game. But we still have a period to go, so uh, we'll get our minds on, set on the games. Now, there was some YouTube com uh, comments about asking where the rinks are in New Zealand. <clears throat> so New Zealand has uh, a number of indoor rinks. Those are located here in Dunedin on the South Island, uh, also in Christchurch, also on the South Island, and in Queenstown um, on the South Island. There's one other South Island indoor rink in Gore, which I believe may be the southernmost uh, indoor ice skating rink in the world. And on the North Island, there are two uh, indoor rinks in Auckland, one in Botany and one in Avondale. There are also some outdoor rinks that are obviously seasonal. So there's one in Alexandra, uh, one in Naseby, uh, and also one in, in Tekapo. So uh, any international viewers, if you play hockey and the world gets opened back up after we get the COVID situation under control, pack up your hockey bag, come to New Zealand and play some hockey with us. Uh, we had a team in the Masters uh, a few years back from Yukon Territory called the White, White Horse Gold Puckers who came over and uh, played a tournament and, and, and did very well. And we're underway, Nick. Underway, yeah. The 18's off to a fiery start. Carrying the puck deep into the 20's zone. Gregory collects. Tries to get past Chaloner. Skates it into the neutral zone. Great edge work there from Gregory. Slightly up to Chaloner. <coughs> Challenger. Dumps the puck in and evades a check from Robbie. Hurrying. Sources the pass. Simon passes back to Ordis. Ordis back to Simon. Simon back to Ordis. Great work between this deep hearing. Up to Ong. Ong puts the puck in, it comes straight back out. Clicked by Simon, dumps it in. Chamberlain. Try to seek a pass in there to Taylor, who's on the doorstep. Yeah. It's going to be icing. Great start here in that third period. The under 18s have maintained possession in the offensive zone, and good things happen when you keep the puck down at that end. It sure does. Let your goalie rest the legs. <laughs> puck up against the board, clicked by Taylor. He's got on with him, takes a shot. It's glove. Face off in the 20s zone. Oh, puck misplaced there by 20s. David Jones carries the puck through after collecting it. Shot. Oh, and it's in. Flynn Hayward Jones. He made up for that little puck miscue, he I think. He did, absolutely. He just said, uh, give me another chance, I'll handle this. His second goal of the night. Sit back, boys, watch me do the work. Such a quick wrist shot. Alex Power blinked and it was in the net. 
It's now 3-2 to the under-20s. Face-off won by the under-20s. Kennedy with the puck. Back to Swift. Swift looks for an option. Up ice pass intercepted by Lewis. Weekly picks up the puck. Goes behind his net. Pressure from Taylor. Drop pass. Puck comes out of the zone. That goes Rolf on a breakaway. Rolf. Oh, oh. Big save. Good save there. Tim Carey has Connor Rolf's number. That's his second breakaway chance. <laughs> Kennedy. Wheels the puck round. It's picked up by Swift. Swift tries to get it back to Talon, but it's picked up by Stately. Shot. Blocked. Kennedy tries to get it out. Kemp, deep in the 18 zone, pressure from the 20s. Manages to get the puck. That's his trouble here. Oh! That's agreed to be a good play to keep that puck in the zone there. Fontaine. Shot. Comes off the chest. Well, the 18s are getting their chances here. Absolutely. Testing out all of uh, Tim Carey's goalie gear. <laughs> 18s putting up a good fight, trying to keep it in the zone. Kim pressures Gregory. Reed carries it out into the neutral zone. Pressure from Stately. 20s managed to hold on to position of the puck. Vesper passes to Reed. Fresh from Stately. Fighting up against the boards. Chamberlain frees the puck for the 18s. Give me a penalty coming up here. Getting a boarding here for uh, Isaac Reed. <coughs> Looks like uh, Robbie's going into Robbie's the box. Robbie's going. So we have a power play here for the under 18s. They worked that power play well at the uh, in the first period, so oh. hopefully they can make it work here again. A sneaky little pass from Autos there, just did not connect. That would have been trouble for Tim Carey. You know, he can only cover one side of the net at a time. Ooh. Puck picked up by Gregory, who clears it. Simon. Passes across. Dumped in by the under 18s. Hayward Jones. Killed by the 20s. Send doing, them all the way back to collect it. Doing good to kill some time here. Just over a minute remaining here <coughs> in the 18s power play. 18s get some fresh legs on. Simon collects. There's a lot of ice there. It's a time when you do want to skate it. Passes up to Stately, Stately in three on one, three on two, shot. Rebound chance there, but unable to collect it. And the 20s, kill again. Kim up to Stately, Stately. Lewis unable to just get a stick on it. Hurrying. Kennedy chasing. Good pressure there from Stightley. Flight carries it in. Oh, nice pass. Oh. Back to Flight. recovery there by Stightley, who does a great pass by Jack Jackson Flight. Picked up by Aldis. There's Rolf again. Oh. 
Penalty is killed. Tappen back. Uh oh. <coughs> Missed time pass there. Weekly tries to check Prinsloo. Threat of the hit there uh, broke up the play as uh, Prinsloo let the puck drift away as he dodged the hit. 18's change. Swift. David Jones trying to keep the puck in. Good pressure there from Taylor in the under 18s. 18s clear from their zone. 18s need to be uh, more concerned about puck possession here rather than simply just clearing the zone because uh, they're down a goal. You need to put one in the net to even this up. Absolutely. You can't do that when the black team has the puck. <laughs> Makes it a bit challenging. Fontaine, unable to collect. Makes up for it though, carries through the neutral zone. Puck comes back out, Roby. Puck in the change here. Shot, blocked, blocked again. Puck goes behind the net, picked up by Roby. Gregory's out in front. Gregory, backhand, goes wide. Picked up by Roby, wheels it round to Gregory. He's trying the Michigan uh, yeah. the, the puck on the stick to wrap it around. <laughs> Gregory sitting behind his net. He's very comfortable out there. A little too comfortable. I think uh, someone on the under 18s needs, needs to be less concerned about his comfort and more concerned about uh, shutting him down. Roby wins the face off. Hurrying takes a shot, but it's blocked. Ordis tries to clear. Comes off the post. Ordis trying to clear again. Loved by Roby. Shot. Goes wide. Oh! oh. <coughs> Vesper comes back off the board and Vesper gets it in. That's just a bad a bad clearing attempt there from the under 18s. Roby kept it in at the, the blue line and he had ice to skate to. And uh, Vesper puts that one in the net. This, uh, this lead may be too much for the 18s to, to overcome. Two, goal, two goals with a little under 12 minutes left. They're going to need to get one quickly, I think. Absolutely. If they don't get one soon, it could be pretty challenging. I think if you're the 20s, you keep pressing. Absolutely. I mean, they've come out firing and they've maintained that pressure throughout most of this period. 18s have been struggling to clear. Stightly tries to take a shot. Puck loose, Nets knocked off. Tappen fighting hard, trying to maintain position of the puck. That's what the 18s need. It's two on one. Two on one, stately. Ball. Ball, shot from ball. Great save. Alex Power did well there. And that's the way you want to defend that play on a two on one. You would let the goalie have, have a, a chance at the shot with a clean view and take away the pass. Because the goalie can't cover one post and get back over to the other one quickly. So uh, it's a good play by Stightley to take away the pass. Shot blocked. Pressure from the 20s here. They're not letting up. They keep getting score opportunities like this. They will light the lamp again. Both teams full strength. Puck goes behind the net. A lot of noise coming from the 20s bench here. I don't know if you can hear it. They want this. They do. They're hungry. Talon carries in. Thomas 
puck goes wide. Picked up by Hayward Jones. Lewis on the counter. He's got Chamberlain. Chamberlain fighting. Puck comes out into the neutral zone. Ordis scrambling with Hayward Jones and Chamberlain. Taylor picks it up. Up ice pass to Ong. Picked up by Chamberlain. Oh! Just unable to hold on to it. Good pressure from the 18s here now. Yeah, they haven't quit. Just over nine minutes remaining in the period. It's important not to. Roby. Yeah, they're not content to center on a two goal lead. They want to make this a three goal lead. This line is playing really well. Vespa goes down. Vesper Roby Gregory with the D of Max Herring and Isaac Reed. Gregory picks up the puck. 18s try to fend him. He's just so patient with the puck and has such yeah. good vision. Generating opportunities. Shot through a screen there from Reed. Yeah. This coach JJ Spiller was uh, mentioning to me yesterday about how he really has uh, a young squad without a lot of uh, game experience together. He only has one player on his roster that's ever traveled with an international team from New Zealand, and that's Tristan Weekly. All the rest of them have not had the opportunity to, to travel, partly because of COVID. A lot of them missed the opportunity last year and again this year, too. But the under-20s have a, a veteran team who've made a lot of trips with under-18s, made some trips with under-20s, um, and have played quite a bit of international hockey. And that experience is, is coming through here. A-teams struggling to keep the puck in the 20 zone. Puck goes behind the net. Backhand pass picked up by the 20s. Plenty of time here. Stightly. Chamberlain. Chamberlain dangles. Chapman. Took Chapman. A hard, took a hard hit. Yeah. Chapman coming off there. He seems to be okay. Got an elbow and call. Looks like Kennedy will go to the box for an elbowing. Turkey's on the table. Another opportunity for the uh, under-18s here. <coughs> they can make this interesting with the power play goal here. There's still seven minutes and 41 seconds left. Let's see what they can uh, make of this power play opportunity. Good pressure from the 20s. At the face-off, 18s. Ordis, shot from Ordis, blocked. Puck comes out. Simon collects, but Vesper in hot pursuit. Yeah, so good uh, forechecking there by Vesper. Absolutely. Roby, Hayward Jones manages to keep it in the zone. Teams looking for some options there. A few collisions in centre. Ordis circling around, looking for an option. Intercepted by Vesper again. Ordis tries to get it up to Chaloner. It comes back. Fontaine plays it back to his defence. Let's get a penalty kill by the 20s here. The 18s have really not had much puck possession in the zone at all. 18s go to change after dumping it in.
Cam picks up the puck. Hand pass. <coughs> 43 seconds left on the penalty. Face off at center ice. Right on the, the need and thunder D. Cam. Looking for some options. Canadian Thunder, one of the NZIHL franchises uh, in the National Senior Men's League. Number of local players that represent the Thunder out here today. Kemp beats Kemp. Swift to the puck. Kemp represents the Southern Stampede out of Queenstown. And Jack Swift represents the Canterbury Red Devils out of Christchurch. That'll about do it for the penalty. It's an opportunity the 18s were just not able to take advantage of. No. Team's now back to full strength. Haring with the puck. Flicks it deep into the 18 zone and chases after his own play. Passes back, shot, blocks. Oh, what a pass by Haring. 18s are fortunate that didn't go into the net. That was a really good play by Herring. Dump it, chase it, make the pass. Herring. Up ice. Some good passing here from the 20s. Flight, picks it up, shot, blocked. It's going to be picked up by Stately. Some ice, open ice here if you can get to it. Prince of the Bowl. Good defensive play there. Few plays using the boards. Gregory picks up the puck deep in his zone. Circles around. Skating out of his zone. Up to Hayward Jones. Hayward Jones with speed now. Goes back. Prinsloo. To Gregory, Gregory. Oh, Rolf has a breakaway chance here if he can get to the puck. Oh, nice play by Nash Hayward Jones. Gregory looking for an option. Tries to put it in. Unable to do so. He says, if you guys don't want to get open for the puck, I'll shoot it myself. Vesper chasing Doherty. Ooh. Weekly big hit on Gregory. Vesper wants to join the action. Roby, shot, uh -oh. touches. Gregory had a golden opportunity there. But, uh... And the puck comes out into the neutral zone. 18's looking to change. This isn't going to get it done for them. They're going to need to get some, uh, some pressure down in the offensive zone. Playing in their own zone. Far Vespa carries it in with snow. Puck wheeled round by the 20s. Nice work from Simon there to keep the puck in the zone. Takes a shot, comes off the pads. 20s. That'll be icing. Flick the puck up, and it will be. <coughs> Two and a half minutes, so it's going to get fresh legs for the 18s and an offensive zone face-off. To so the other ends of the IHL squads are the uh, Botany Swarm and the West Auckland Admirals are the Auckland representatives in the NZIHL. I mentioned the South Island franchises. Of course, our uh, NZIHL sponsor, Sal's Pizza. It's a good lunch option today. It's getting about that time. It's 
slightly, fighting with Kennedy. Up to Roby. And the puck. Out of play. Straight into the 18's bench there by the look of it. It's about two minutes left here in the game. I need to get some sustained offensive pressure here if the 18's are going to try and get back into this one. Stately. Oh. Poked. Stately keeps it in. Here's an opportunity here. Tapping. Backhand pass. Backhand shot. Stately back to Rolf. Picked up by Haring. Stately fighting for it still. Pressure from Tappen, but the puck comes out of the zone. Minute and a half left. Shot loved by Alex Power. Takes the wicket. Minute 25. Interesting to see if uh, they get some offensive zone possession if the 18s will pull Alex Power for the extra attacker. But if they can't get possession of the puck, that won't matter. Eighteen's fighting, trying to get it out of the zone. Pad safe by Power. There's a penalty on flight. <laughs> I think uh, I was tripping for Jackson Flight that uh, the rink might be charging him rent in that penalty box. <laughs> Smiles from both Chapman and Flight there. Clearly not too uh, upset about that. Well, here comes the opportunity. Uh, 18's called a timeout to pull the goalie, put the extra attacker on for the offensive zone faceoff that's upcoming from the penalty. So there might be an opportunity for them to get back into this one. Uh, not a whole lot of time left, but try to make the score at least more respectable. And it's a good opportunity to work on uh, some of these game situations, end game situations that might come up uh, in, in the future. These players get some experience in high pressure situations in the end game. Absolutely, good preparation for when they do eventually manage to make it overseas. It'd be a great opportunity for those young boys in the under 18s. I'm sure they're yearning for it. <clears throat> and Alex Powers to the bench. <coughs> Stately, Kemp, Chapman, Tappen, Rolf, and Challoner for the 18s. Unusual suspects. Uh, Roby and Gregory out to, with uh, Kennedy and Flynn Hayward-Jones for the penalty kill. Chapman, back to Kemp. Kemp takes a shot, it's blocked by Roby. Rolf picks up the puck, passes back to Stately. Rolling puck, Stately takes a shot. Narrowly misses the net. Chapman back to Tappen. Tappen wheels it round, Chapman picks it up. Kemp back to Chapman. Tappen. There should be some open ice here with uh, six on four. Cam takes a shot, blocked by the skate of Roby. Kennedy picks up the puck, clears. And there's no icing since the power play. Oh, oh. and that's going to be delay a game. So there goes the power play opportunity gone. So shooting it uh, uh, over the glass without a deflection uh, in your defensive zone is delay of game penalty, and Camp uh, is going to sit down and in the naughty bin. <coughs> With only 6.7 seconds left in the game, he'll get a suspended sentence and be paroled. <laughs> Face off one of the 20s, shot, gloved by power. Flynn Hayward Jones wants his hattie. Mm. He has such a quick wrister. Great work from the 20s there, trying to get a shot off. 3.7 seconds remaining. 
Stately. And that'll do it from Dunedin. It sure will. Final score, New Zealand under 20s four, New Zealand under 18s two. Uh, that was a well, a well fought and a clean battle game. Absolutely. Great effort by all the boys in both teams. And I think um, you know, it bodes well for the future of New Zealand hockey. There was uh, some uh, talented and uh, highly skilled players out there, uh, well-coached you know, units from both sides. Um, so I think that uh, you know, as these players move up through the ranks, the, the quality of New Zealand hockey is only going to get better and better. Absolutely. A few NZIHL representatives also on the ice. Coming out for the center ice for the handshakes. Elbow bumps. Applause from the crowd. And at the end of the game, everybody's still friends. Any closing thoughts there, Nick, on the contest we saw this after? Uh, oh, I'm just, this weekend? I'm just stoked that I had the opportunity to come up here and have the best, best seat in the house to watch the game. Really, yeah, it's really an honor. It's uh, quite a fun, quite a fun job to do. Absolutely. Next time we have to get a bigger crowd down here. A uh, bit of a late notice with this, uh, this series, so it would have been awesome to have a crowd. I know there. are 75 viewers watching from home so we hope you enjoyed the commentary um, we enjoyed doing it and we enjoyed uh, bringing you this game so I hope you join us for more uh, NZIHL live action as we get into uh, next season the, the schedules are going to be a little bit uh, up in the air just seeing how, how COVID affects everything but uh, you can uh, look for the uh, NZIHL both on Facebook and uh, on YouTube and, and find any upcoming events. So thank you very much for tuning in and, uh, and watching this uh, event put on by the New Zealand Ice Hockey Federation. Signing off from Dunedin uh, on, on behalf of our live stream crew, including Connor Dobson, who is the technical expertise and the cameraman, uh, broadcast partner Nick Hall, and myself, Mike Stightley, signing off from Dunedin. And uh, uh, thank you very much and have a, a wonderful Sunday.